ArcadeModUp.com here and in this video I'm going to show you guys that our LCD HDMI converter does work with the new Gen 3 cabinets from Arcade 1UP. So the Marvel Super Heroes, the Mortal Kombat from Costco, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Those all have a newer style monitor. I'm going to talk through some of the things that are different between this one and previous generations as well as You'll read online that they don't work. Obviously, they do work. You, you'll see it here. But it, for a lot of the guys that are having issues with these or try to convert them and they're getting a white screen of death or a black screen of death, I'm going to go through how I how I resolve those um, as those issues come up in this video, as well as just show kind of the basic overview of the cabinet. Okay, so just to show you guys quickly how these uh, Gen 3 Arcade 1UP monitors work is essentially... When you open it, there's going to be this little box. There's just two screws on each side. Take those off. The box comes out. Disconnect the cables, uh, and you're good. You're good there. Then you'll take our board that you see, and it's going to come with this one connector. There's a small dot on the connector that'll come down and towards you where the HDMI is. Uh, of course, you'll have our cable here that connects to the um, to the controls, and then you'll be using the um, power supply. We'll plug in there, and your HDMI will plug in there. So you'll plug in your original. Uh, arcade one up there or if you're doing our lighted marquee you can plug the splitter in it, it does work uh, so I wanted to talk about some troubleshooting here that I ran into because a lot of guys are saying these monitors don't work and um, they're half right and half wrong uh, I figured out how to how to bring it back if you have some kind of issue so let's talk about that okay so I went ahead and booted this up with the pie so you can see that um, it's working as expected on some of these, you might get a bunch of lines and some chaos there at first. Um, uh, it might come up and be white or be black. And I'll show you how to fix that. But this is one that's working. And the only difference I can see is the resolution is a little bit different from these Gen 3 models to the previous ones, to where it just barely cuts off the bottom here. So if you start mes messing with the resolution settings, you will get that uh, uh, the black or the white screen. And then it just won't work until you do this fix that I show. Um, here in a minute uh, but right now I'll continue to mess with the pie settings and resolution the other because if I blow these out I don't really care I want to get it working but this does work and again it's just cutting off maybe a quarter inch of the bottom screen it's very small uh, that's doing but past that everything works fine so if you get one of our mod kits and you and you get the Marvel you can see that the board this board is a little bit different on how it fits but we have the updated board the updated graphics of course you can put other graphics on if you want to and it does work everything works as expected except for this small little cut off the bottom which again doesn't doesn't play into the games it looks great and plays fine what I'm going to do now is get in uh, one of these LCD converters that is having issues show that it's having issues and then how to fix that okay so to show you guys here this is one where I plugged in and this is one of the original boards that I was using the LCD converter boards. You can see it's messed up here. Um, it looks like the monitor's broken, but it's not. Um, so if you get something weird to where it's not working as you expect, if it's bright white, if it stays black, if it goes nuts like this, if there's a bunch of lines running across, but you can kind of see the image in the background, basically we need to reset the resolution on the LCD converter board. So I'm going to take this exact same board and show you how to do that. Okay, so I've disconnected I've unplugged my Pi and I've also disconnected the HDMI cable from my um, from my Pi as well. So the Pi is not involved here at all. I still have my cabinet with everything hooked up how it was a second ago, um, how you guys saw in the first part of the video. But before you do anything, just take your computer, find a Windows computer, right click and go to display settings, and then change the resolution to um, 1024 by 768. So I'm gonna hit keep changes. And that's all I've done so far. So essentially what we're going to do is I'm going to plug my um, my Gen 3 Arcade 1UP monitor into the computer at this resolution. It resets that board and hopefully everything comes back. So I will uh, show you that now. Okay, so I have that still connected up. Um, everything's connected in the monitor. I'm just going to take the HDMI and plug it into this uh, different resolution here from my monitor and see if I can get that to reset it. I've had some success doing this. Okay, so you can see now I actually do have picture. It's not that jumbled mess that we saw a minute ago. So I'm gonna reorganize this stuff and replug in a pie and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so I got it plugged back into my pie. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that back in. And we'll see what happens here. 
So it looks like I, I have my monitor back. So that fixed this one. Um, the one thing I'm gonna say is sometimes when these come back from the testing I've been doing, this will look kind of whitewashed or it'll still have some kind of jittery lines. If you just let it run, and this sounds stupid, but it works. You just let it run for 20, 30 minutes, just let it run straight. The monitor works itself out and then everything works fine. So if you do see that, um, there's a possibility that's it. There's one more thing I'm gonna show you here um, that, that's the other way. If you don't get it, because some of these, if, if, if plugging it into the computer at that resolution doesn't bring it back, I can actually show, um, show one more way that I'm just resetting the card. I think you can do it blind, but I haven't done enough testing on that. I'm just gonna show it plugged into another monitor. Um, so you can see there that everything's working. I guess I'll go ahead and let it boot up just so you can see the main screen. So you can see we're back to where we started um, in the video. So really, the, long story short, it's not your monitor. It's the LCD converter and how it interacts with the monitor. And if there's some kind of setting that's tripped, so let's say you go in here and you say, I don't like that cutoff, I'm gonna fix it. And you start hitting these buttons to go into the menu and you start messing with stuff. First of all, you can see um, they're in Chinese to start, which actually I can show you how to fix that. If you go down to the bottom and hit the first one, you can see there that I can change it to English. So I've done that, but if I go in here and say, okay, I wanna start mess, oops, I wanna start messing with the display size. The second I hit that, which let's just do it, why not? And say I want four by three. So you can say, okay, I'm getting somewhere. But if you start messing with these different settings in here, that's how I got it to, um, to die the first time. So you can see it zooms out worse if I go full screen or whatever. But there's also some um, <clears throat> resolution settings. As I started messing with that, that's whenever it, it, it tanked on me. But either way, you can see plugging into your computer will bring it back. I'm gonna show one more thing. Um, actually, I'll just show it from here because I can. If you plug in, if you have another arcade one up, especially one with an older monitor, you can plug it in and the thing's just gonna work. It's not as temperamental as this one. But if essentially, how you saw, I just put it back to English. What I'm gonna do now is go back down to that bottom one. And I'm pressing menu to go forward, then left and right uh, to navigate, and then menu on this little board. So menu, left. If you go down to reset, and then press the menu button, reset, that's gonna reset the board. You'll see here, it should go back to Chinese. That'll bring it back too. So if if you get messed up or the board's not working like you want, if you have another arcade one-up monitor, you can plug it in. It should work if it's not this third generation. Change it to English if, if you need to, and then uh, reset the card. Then put it back into your Gen 3, and it should be good like this. If not, that computer trick uh, has worked for me as well. Um, so I'll do more on this Marvel setup and on the Ninja Turtles from what we have for all of our mods, but I just wanted to show you, people are saying these monitors don't work with our LCD converter it does work and if it something's messed up or it's not working right those are a couple ways to troubleshoot and get it back um, if not contact us and we'll help you out as well uh, if you purchase from us so make sure and like the video uh, put any comments down below stay tuned and I will show you some upgrades we have coming for these new cabinets